even if it was just someone like me. Hey, where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. Yeah, sorry, gotta hop. Sorry, Neil. Night call, huh? Should have taken a nap. Eh, we're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got a handful to sort out yourself, huh? Yes, if what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather peculiar cases. I've read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Well, you're probably gonna give it anyways, so... Ugh. I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also be about shaping the question. Uh... Anyhow, good luck. By the way, don't think you're getting off the hook easy. After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? Uh... And it's gonna be so much fun! See ya! I'm looking forward to it! Uh... Oh, wait! Something just occurred to me. Although I'm not sure why yet. I do know that you removed the machine stabilizer, but with the patient's subconsciousness being neurowired to the system's processor... Well, I hope you got a backup plan if he's able to get around its single-thread firewall. Uh... Hey, Sophia, I think I found... We could talk later. Please, head back in there for now. It seems like something's gone wrong. Uh... Hey, you might want to get back in there. What happened? Another spike in brain activity. Even more so than before. Uh... uh... I don't know what, but something's going on in there. Yeah... I'm heading back to check with Eva. Hey, I think I saw your partner spasming just then. It, it, is, is something wrong? Uh, of course not. We've got this. Don't worry. I'm going back in there now. Okay. I'm counting on you. You resume memory traversal. Hmm. Eva? Link to his timeline's overworld got unlocked. Even if Eva's not there anymore, it'd be easier to look for her from there. Uh... It's probably best not to provoke anything before figuring out what's going on. I should find Eva first. You enter Overworld.
Eva, are you here? Ah. Uh... Every memory of Cullen that we've pieced together so far. She's got to be in one of them. The vortex of the anomaly's been bouncing us around. I guess it's near the memory we left off at. You scan for activity. Personnel, Dr. Eva Rosaline, not detected. Uh... You rotate the memories. We're still missing one last memento. Better wait till we catch them all. Personnel, Dr. Eva Rosaline, not detected. Where could she be? Personnel, Dr. Eva Rosaline, not detected. Personnel, Dr. Eva Rosaline, not detected. Not here either. Personnel, Dr. Eva Rosaline, not <sighs> detected. Dag Nebit, how can she be in the machine and nowhere in the memories? Unless... System, narrow down Eva's most recent position. <sighs> well, duh. Frickin' Bermuda Triangle. Guess it's back to the crime scene. System, load up available recordings from here. I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? Flipping corn cobs, how can this one memory link be so hard to find? And that idiot sure is taking his sweet time. Wait a minute. Uh. Are you at a computer? Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. Neil, can you hear me? Hello? Are you there? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she's real. She's all in his head, and something strange is happening. Hello? Say something. Uh... Um... Is this? What? Uh, you? What did you do to Eva? Uh, what the fuck is this?
damn it, this isn't even the freaking genre of patient I signed up for. What do you want? Leave. We can't leave. This is our job. Colin signed us to be here. He changed his mind. Leave! You don't belong here. Uh, fine. You want to play hardball? Let's play freaking hardball. You may have the host's subconsciousness, but I'm still the admin of this world. I never thought I'd have to use this, but you leave me no choice. It's time to show you my true power! Ha! What? Hing! <laughs> Uh... Um... This gesture-controlled interface was a terrible idea. If you think I'm going to show you mercy, you'd be sadly mistaken. Give up now, and maybe I'll cons- Please leave. Zagnabbit. This is so not what I built this back door for. I guess even my code needs testing before practical use. Ugh, and what the heck happened to Eva? I need to get to the bottom of this. Receive note, Faye. Seatbelt wouldn't have helped. Yeah, this seems a little low on the list of priorities right now. Any instance of Colin should get me back to the overworld. You enter Colin's overworld. System, narrow down the positions of rogue mental activity. Hmm. She's... split up everywhere? 
Where do you even begin? She's here somewhere. Uh... System. Disable interactivity for all non-operators, including Colin. That was you walking by here, wasn't it? That's none of your business anymore. What the? What is this place? You tell me. Huh? What? Wait a minute. This is my unfinished interface? How are you even here? Uh, and where is Eva? Why should I tell you? You were going to remove me from Colin's memories. Uh, we weren't necessarily gonna... You're here to do your job, are you not? You said yourselves that you'd start with me, then work your way up. We only said that because we didn't know you could hear us. Uh... Wait... That came out wrong. But listen, you need to believe me, I'm on the patient's side, not the contracts. This, this is just a misunderstanding. We're here to do what's best for Colin, and you can work with us to make it happen. Hmm, that does sound enticing. It would be nice if that were the case, but should I believe you? Well, let's see. No! <clears throat> Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. Hey, wait! I'm the admin! Damn it, did my system just elope my patient's freaking imaginary friend? Good try, but I sure don't recall that poster looking like that. You look a little distorted, by the way. Ugh! You try squeezing in there and looking the same! This again? Wah! Hey, look over there! Uh... Okay, it isn't fair that you're basically wired to the system's processor. Why won't you just give up and leave us alone? I know Colin signed the contract, but he only did it out of desperation. He didn't understand the consequences, but now he does. Listen, I don't know what you take us for, but we're here to help him. I mean, I don't know exactly how yet, but at least give us a chance. Hmm. Just tell me where Eva is, and give us the memory link so we can finish the job. Your colleague. To tell you the truth, I don't actually know where she is. And as for the memory link... What? You'll have to go through me. Shit.
that was your choice. So be it. That's not fair. I can't even leave a mark on you. There was no chance at all. Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. Okay. This sucks. Uh, hey. You've been here since the beginning, haven't you? Ugh! You've only had a glimpse of his life! Don't speak as if you know the beginning! Hey, look, the paper plane thing was just totally uncool. But, what did you mean when you said you don't know where Eva is? I saw the footage. You were the one who locked her away. No. Ugh. All I did was lock the communication channels and give her a scare. I don't know where she went afterwards. In fact, she disappeared soon after you returned. Disappeared? As in, she's unplugged from the machine? Yes, she's no longer here. And if you don't leave too? Well, I'm... I'm gonna make you leave. Wait, how are you even accessing my private programs like this? Yes! That wasn't what I was asking at all. Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. What is this anymore? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Did Eva really unplug from the machine? Maybe I should too. Wait, but if I'm not here, Faye might even be able to reset our progress. Hmm, I guess there's at least some use in keeping her busy. So, how'd you buy a ticket for that seat? I wasn't even here in the actual memory. Get it right. Look, we don't have much time left. If Collins' wish is to be fulfilled, we need you to work with us. Do you still not understand? Collins' wish is no longer something you can grant him. His wish now is for you to be gone. Uh, uh-huh. Uh, how did you do? What? I didn't do anything. Unless... Eva? Gah! Hey, 
That wasn't so bad anymore. Wait a minute. Uh... Sweet! It's a Christmas miracle! Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Uh... This again? I won't let you get to him! Um... This height isn't real. This height isn't real. Oof! Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. At least something seems to be happening. Maybe Eva's having better luck. Eva, are you here somewhere? Wait a minute. This is the last accessible memory where we saved a communicative copy of Colin. Not quite as bright as the real thing, but sure beats nothing at all. Colin, can you hear me? Oh, you're back. Hey, listen up. I need your help. Uh, what the- hello? You locked down the one who created you? That- no, that's not the real Colin. That's merely a partial copy of him that you created. Back for more, are you? Hey, I know you're no longer in full control of this place. There's still time. Work with us and we'll make the best of this. The best of this would be you leaving Colin alone. And I'll be the one making sure of that. You know I can take you on now, right? Yeah! Try me.
not freaking cool. <laughs> Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. She clearly no longer has full control. There must be something we can do. Ah. Uh... External patch installation initiated. Huh? What the? Is that you, Eva? Ah. Uh... Rogue mental activity detected. This wasn't here before. Uh... Eva, there you are! Hey. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Did you see Faye around here? Don't worry. I took care of her. Already? What did you do? Oh, and uh, sorry about the mess here. I probably should have cleaned it up. You know, I've been thinking that we should just leave. Wait, what? The patient clearly doesn't want us here. We shouldn't respect his wishes. What are you talking about? Patients don't always know what they really want. You of all people should know. Wait a minute. Aww. I guess it's no use. Uh... I should know by now you aren't just gonna leave. I really don't know what to do anymore. But I have to keep going. Even if it just stalls you! What? Uh... Okay, hold on just a minute. These clouds sure aren't as fluffy as they look. Uh... You've gone on for long enough! But this is where your trespassing ends. You know, for an imaginary character, your attacks are kind of vanilla. Ru... Ru-dog? Ugh. I could really use some help. Look, we don't have to do this. Then forfeit! Why are you still here?! Gah! Dag nabbit! that you haven't learned much. Hey, it's 
hardly fair to fight you when you're practically this world itself. But you aren't exactly that, are you? Because if you really do represent the actual unchained subconsciousness of Colin, then, well, you could have done a lot more by now and turned this whole construct against us. You're just a single loose mental strand far from being able to speak for Colin. Uh... Sure, I may not represent his entirety, but so what? Colin got lost, and it's hard not to be with all you tempt him with. Uh... That's okay, though. He might not always know what he wants, but I know what he needs. Eh. But you could very well be wrong. Uh... I mean, no offense, but you aren't much more than that incomplete copy of Colin back there. In fact, I'm not even sure there's a point in talking to you right now. After all, you're just an ethereal figment of his imagination that never even existed. Perhaps so. But is that any different from what you're here to do? Uh... What? What? Eva? Hey. Sorry. I had to head out for a moment there. She's all in Colin's head, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm intimately familiar with that fact by now. But what were you doing? You just bailed out on me. I was out administering sedatives to curb Colin's brain activity. Not sure how his mental process could override us, but it was getting out of hand. So that wasn't a Christmas miracle after all. It took a while to work out the dosage, as we still need his brain functioning. Seems like it's working, though. The effect should be sinking in more now. Uh... Just what have you been dealing with over here? Don't ask. Uh... Ah! Um... What the heck is that? Just some new code Roxy sent me. She said she saw issues with the machine earlier, and knew we'd be in trouble. Wrote a patch in the car while Rob was driving, apparently. <laughs> Show off. Did, a? Uh, did she say anything else about the machine? Aside from you doing a crappy job with the self-repairs? No, not like there was much time to talk. Ah. Actually, I'm still not sure if Colin is stable enough for this to work yet. Uh... Ugh, seems like the sedatives still need to sink in a bit more. This isn't good. We don't have the time to wait around anymore. Hmm. Actually, let me try something. You just wait here, cause, uh, she might come back this way. Uh... Hey, hold on a minute. It's only a matter of time now, isn't it? I might not be able to beat you, but don't count on my compliance. No, I'm not here to... Actually, wait. Wow, it worked! What, now you're bringing me here to get back at me for earlier? No, I brought you here for privacy. This place should be off the record even from Eva. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Your cooperation. I thought we went over that already. Sure. But now I have something to offer you in return. What can you possibly offer me? Something mutually beneficial, actually. 
And even if you don't care for it, I have a feeling Colin would. Hmm. How did it go? She never came back this way. Well... Uh... How? Pure talent. Rox has tricks, and I have mine. Okay, no need to overcompensate. <laughs> Are we good to go, then? Yeah. She won't be bothering us any longer. Not that she'd be able to anyway, with the sedative setting in. Well, that effect is only temporary. We have little time as it is. Come on. Let's move on already while we still can. Hmm. Sheesh. Are they just spreading hibiscus seeds wherever they go? You prepare the memento. You activate the memento. Ah. Uh. Well, let's go and see what we find at the vortex of all this. I have a guess. Hmm. Didn't exactly stick that soft field landing, huh? Not like I had much practice on an actual grass strip. So, uh, you think this is a case of schizophrenia? Well, with that, the patient usually has trouble actively distinguishing delusion from reality. But in this case... I get the feeling that he's actually well aware of it. Still can't say for certain, but I'm leaning towards some kind of defense mechanism instead. The more curious question is how she's able to materialize her so vividly. Uh... That being said, could she still hear us? Don't know about that, but... This should just be a normal memory playback now. Hmm. This should be memories playing back as usual now. What you waiting for? Come on! Haven't you ever heard of the phrase, stop and smell the roses? There are flowers on top of the hill, too, you know. I'll race you there! I was thinking, 
It's a little windy today. Maybe we should come back some other time instead. Oh, don't be such a downer. We're practically already there. Hey, remember when we played Catch Me If You Can? <sighs> uh, the wind? It wasn't there a moment ago. Okay, what is the matter now? Let's just rest here for a while. Again? You barely walked any steps. Hey, I'm the one who has to carry this thing uphill. Oh, I just thought you'd have gotten stronger by now, that's all. The cello got bigger too, you know. Just come and sit here with me for a bit, will you? Mm. Do you remember the first time we came here? Which first time? The second one, I guess. The one where I tried to race you up the hill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a dumb move. Uh, you sure were excited to take me up there, though. Yeah. It had been a while since I took anyone there. It's still one of my favorite places. I've always liked how it overlooked the city. It really has been a while, hasn't it? I rather miss going there. So why are you hesitating? Hmm? We're mere steps away from there, you know? Why are you stopping every step along the way? Uh... Stop kidding yourself, Colin. You're not tired and it's not the wind. We've already come so far. You know as well as I what we have to do. Hmm. The first time we came here? That was the first time I accompanied you to play the scales too, wasn't it? Yeah. It helped. It still does, actually. <laughs> well, no one likes to practice scales alone. But... You could never actually hear what I was playing, could you? Uh... It's nice up there today. It always is. You don't have to leave anymore. I can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? Don't you think you're getting a bit old for me to stay? People would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want. I don't care. You made me who I am today. I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. You taught me to practice the scales. No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know, 
nor can I make you do anything you don't want. Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if it was just someone like me. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Sometimes stepping out of this little world we've made is the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things around you. I just don't want to be alone. Sure. If I go, you'll be alone at time even when you don't want to be. But that's all a part of growing up. And it's all a part of life. It's what makes fleeting moments with loved ones treasured and our memories precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. There's a lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but... I know you won't find all that you need living only in these pages of ours. You brought me into this world. I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some are only meant to carry you so far. In my own way, you know I will always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready? I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for it to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You were my first real friend. Hey, this doesn't have to be the end of us. One day, you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day, I'll come back once more. We'll talk like how we used to talk, and you'll tell me about your day. No, about your life. You'll tell me about what a happy life you've had, and all the nice memories you've made. I might not have such a happy life, you know. Uh, you're such a downer, you know that? Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time, and it may take a lot of work and effort, but when that day comes, I know you'll have lots of happy memories to share. Ah, it's almost time. How much have you written in that book by now? You've replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must talk a lot. Sorry about that. But now that I'm going, perhaps you could finally spare more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't have to always write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book filled with all kinds of different pages, as it should be. Take care of yourself, all right? Hey. I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. Oh.
long, long time ago. She never came back, did she? Guess not. Hmm. I wonder if she's a cause or an effect. Hmm. As in, do you think Colin's unhappy because she never came back again? If Colin only wanted to see her again, I doubt he would have needed to call us. Yeah, so perhaps her absence at the end meant that he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. Uh... This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Let's move. We have to make do what we have. Wait. Do we even know what we're doing with them yet? I have a few ideas to try, but we still need to link the mementos first. Let's get back to the overworld and figure things out while we do that. Alright. What the heck? Ah, uh, wait just a- WHAT?! In my own way, I will always be there to protect you. Huh? Neil? What's taking you so long? Ah! This place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. Uh... Hmm... I think that's all of them, but... Was that a... Uh... What is this place? Um... His memories, they're falling apart. Hmm. Call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Fia. I won't forget about you. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly there's no more time. And I find myself here. 
just like everyone else. I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? That's why we're here, Colin. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Hmm... We only have so little time in this life, and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things we want to try, other paths to take. Oh shit, 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 shit! Did it spill on your dress? Hey. Just one more excuse to jump into the lagoon. Hmm. You know, we don't have to waste all that lemon juice. Have you ever tried writing with it? Lemon juice? No? Why? Ha! Then prepare to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Get this. It's invisible ink. Huh? Invisible ink? Yep. The writing appears in color only when you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. It's been a while since I've written. Well, never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We could write about this trip. Uh... It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? And at the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote of it all. Hmm. Ah. Uh, why was this not part of that memory earlier? Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. We all have regrets, be it it writing a wrong or a dream long past. At Sigmund Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right, because with our help, it's never too late. Ah, uh, wait, these don't seem like just randomly scattered memories. Could it be that the sedatives are wearing off? Um... You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. You're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually... here. I know, it's mesmerizing here! Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up to the sky. But you've been spending so much time with me, and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is, and all that could be? Hmm... Okay, look, I got it. I got your message, you hear me? I know you're still here. You can come and get me now. Uh... Damn it, I really thought that was her. Um... Wait, is that really the only way to... Wah! 
Where the hey have you been? I figured it out, Eva. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it took an unholy amount of spoon feeding, but... I guess that's what it takes when we're on the inside of it. Huh? What are you talking about? Yes, just what are you talking about? Uh... The sedative? It wore off already? You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin, and you're the mental process that's in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be amended now, can it? Hmm. So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're going to erase me for good, you might as well hurry. No. We're not going to erase you. We're going to erase us. Huh? Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Eva. He already had her. Uh... The ability to change his reality, to live in a different world? One that filled the gaps of what he wanted all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. And yet, she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. Hmm. What you're trying to imply... No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We... Because there's more to it. There's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes. We give meaning to people's lives. We do... It has to be more than just that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate, for sure. But for someone who had to fight just to let go of fantasy and embrace reality, maybe our existence was merely an unwelcome amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary, and the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you two. Things aren't looking good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of there. And by might wanna, I mean need to. Ah. Uh... After all that, huh? I guess none of this even matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to implement any actual changes. No, we might not have the time. But what about her? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all procedures would be internalized. So much could be done in a fraction of a moment. You're suggesting giving sole control of the machine to a mental process of the patient? The ethical implications of that? It hasn't been done for good reason. It hasn't been done because no patient has had the chance like this. Besides, what's our alternative? We just leave and mark this as a write-off? But what about legal complications and the contract is so- Oh, come on, Eva. When has the contract stopped us? Uh, guys? Go on, I'll be right behind. Um... Don't say I never trust you. <sighs> Why are you doing this for us? Well, if I were calling on my last breath, I'd trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. There is more to what you do than just playing God with people's memories. 
you've been here for just a day, yet... In all of his lifetime, no one else has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And, well... You're kind of the first I've ever been able to meet, too. In some silly way. Maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for. It was one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. Full admin access transferred to Unknown Credential Fay. You gonna be alright? <laughs> Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstances, I'd say that's pretty alright. Hey. Do you think that in some ways, I've truly existed? Well, for what it's worth. I think all our memories, and everything in it, can be nothing but the fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out here. Colin's counting on you. His blood pressure's dropping. Vital signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go. I'm sorry for your loss. Please, take all the time you need. I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they're ready, I'll let them know. Always a little stark, isn't it? Seeing it like this, after just having been in there. Eh, it is what it is. I'm just a little cold. It felt warmer in there. What we did back there, do you know if it worked? Hard to say. I'll try to dig through the data afterward, but... Well, it's never been done like this before. I don't know how coherent it'll be. Guess we got another mess of a report to write. We can take care of that when the dust settles. In the meantime, I just remembered something. Uh... So, did you succeed? There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but... I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened in those last moments. Hey, Sophia said you got a lighter? Uh, yeah? Um... I never 
stood up very tall. I think my voice was fairly small. But there were times I'd want to shout, though my thoughts weren't sorted out. So I'd stumble and I'd fall. I learned to fly because of you. So if you left, I could go too. And everything you saw in me, that's what I wanted to be. Did I make it? Because trading my yesterday is to wish my life away. As we dream and as we grow. We have to learn to let things go But let the wonder never fade Though we've turned ten thousand pages Flying higher stuck below I've searched for meaning amidst doubt figured that part out and all the stories inside me feels like I'm bursting at the seams and you're here after trading my yesterday is to wish my life away Looking for something, old timer? It's been a while, huh? A long while. You haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? Listen, I wish you were under better circumstances, but... I know. 
I wish I still had the time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay. I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah, I have a lot of those. But that's okay. The chances I missed, the mishaps, and all that I wish I had, well, they were all still a part of it. They made way for all that I do have. And what I do have, I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. That's all I wish to hear. Go on, they're waiting for you. It's time to go home. Hey, Colin? Sorry I had to leave back then. Thank you for having been there, even when nobody else was.
Sup. Where are you? At my scotch, drinking home. You said you'd be here. I said I'd visit like we always do. Not attend the funeral. When was the last time we even did that? I know, but I just thought we owe it to him after. Dr. Rosaline, we're about to start. Go on, I'll get my turn. Uh... All right, enjoy your scotch. You know it. Now, where were we? Ooh, not looking sketchy at all, Neil. I asked you to knock, not hack my lock. Switching to digital was a terrible idea. Why didn't you just keep both locks on? <sighs> Dag nabbit, Rob. I don't even know why she got you involved. Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? You betcha! So, is that the solution you were talking about? Yeah. That's her. The new member is here! Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Ah, Jay! What a nice surprise! Hey!